Playing France this week on Saturday in Lyon. It's obviously not their not their home ground. Just they're moving it about the country, which I think is pretty cool. So it's a new experience for everyone. And then we beat Ireland on the on the Saturday, just gone by one point, right at the death. Big emotional uh, finish for us. So yeah, everyone's been buzzing. <laughs> you know, since the World Cup, uh, I feel like quite a bit of the core group has stayed the same, but. The squad feels also really different at the same time. Um, we've got a load of new guys coming into the camp. You know, Manny, Chandler, Rootsy, say, you know, those are just a small amount of guys who have played a massive part in the Six Nations so far. And it feels like it's a, it's a new squad. And rugby wise, I feel like in the past seven weeks, we've come leaps and bounds. I feel like from our first game against Italy to the last game against Ireland, you can see a massive progression in our game and the way we want to play rugby and uh, yeah last weekend was just it kind of felt like the perfect storm really and uh, put out a great performance. Well it's great to have that bit of fight, you've got the urgency at the end of the week. You just said it, that's what the best things are, that fight about us. That bit of f***ing needle in us, that anxious. He's going to be ready okay? Good session boys. Good morning, what I liked about that as well is probably saw the repercussions, the knock on effect of it, just two, three percent off. <laughs> yeah, I think building the week, we built that session beautifully. We'll start bigger on Thursday and we'll carry on to Saturday night. Because it's a brilliant start of the week. I think the coaching team are brilliant in that sense. They're always very consistent whether we win or we lose. Like their emotions aren't aren't really up and down. I think that really helps the team. It's easy for a, a coach or a staff, people who aren't playing to sort of because they can't physically do anything about the performance when we're out there. It's, it's easy for them to sort of let their um, emotions run free and sort of affect the group. But I think this coaching group that we've got, I think because a lot of them played in recent times and have a good feel for a group, don't do that at all. So yeah, I, I feel that really helps the group. I think this team's learned a lot through the tournament. Regardless of what happened last weekend, I think there's a clear progression as to how we want to play our game. You know, there's a real focus on our attack and a real frosty in our defence that you know, we still feel like there's a lot to come from it, which is the exciting bit. Last Saturday for us felt like a brilliant start, but for us it can't be the end of it. And that's the exciting bit, we still feel like we've got so much to go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm excited to inform you that we're going to be joined by a legend tonight in the magician circles, all the way from Bradford. Uh, he was an associate at the Magic Circle since 2012. Uh, he's the star of BAFTA nominated series Magician Impossible. Wow. He's shown that. He is also the AMA's Magician of the Year 2015 and included in the Forbes magazine's highest paid magicians 2016. Oh. You left or right handed? Right. <laughs> right. Hold it out like this and close it tight. Um, hold this hand up. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> so I've done a lot of cross on there. Show it to everybody. Yeah. So it's a sharp, so it doesn't just wipe off. But the idea is to take it from there. No. no way! Impossible! That is mad. You know what, actually? Alice, do me a favour. So, anything. <laughs> you can see they're all different, right? Yeah. I'm going to look that way um, whilst I show these cards to you. Just think of one that you see in there. Make sure you can see it in there. Yeah. Got it? Got yeah. one? Yeah. Cool. Look at me. Um, I'm getting the impression, um, because of the type of character you are, that it's a high card. Yeah? But it's not a picture card. 
it's like it's a relatively high number. I'm going to just I'm not going to say anything else. Just <laughs> just going <laughs> to name the card out loud. Hey, Thurman. Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> I swear. I swear. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> and that was proper tucked away. Well done, you Cheers, man. Good for you. <laughs> Do I look at it? Yeah. Yeah. Can I show anybody? Nope. Oh, yeah, you can show everyone. Yeah, show sure. Everyone. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Down the top. Gonna split it. Do you wanna split it once? Yeah, why not split it? Nice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna find two cards. Jack of diamonds and jack of hearts. Okay. Oh, if this goes wrong, I swear to me. <laughs> really? Alright. Jack of hearts on top? Yep. Jack of diamonds on the bottom? Yeah, yeah. One card. Look at that. Boom! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go! Yeah. Raven, bro! Yeah. 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 That's sick. Yeah. Jamie, first and foremost, you know, he's, he's a great human being. Rugby wise, he's sensational, but off the pitch for me, he's been. Unbelievable. I'm sort of running out of superlatives for him. Uh, he's been through an incredibly tough three, four weeks and the way he's led from the front has been exemplary. It's been inspirational. It's shown me what a true leader is and how he carries himself around the place. It's been, you know, extraordinary. So he's, he's a guy that I'll always be grateful for. He's had my back for the past few years and he's sort of showed me the ropes and led the way for me. And um, yeah, I'm just extremely grateful to have him by my side. I think it's the mark of a good team is when people can look after each other in the, in the at times and also be there for each other consistently, like not just when there's a bad point, a low point or a good point, like ha being there all every step of the way, um, especially when you've got like a younger squad as well. I think it's important to to have a good feel for the boys and, and sort of identify when they're, when they're struggling a bit. So yeah, it's been a bit of a roller coaster so far, but we can only control what we can control and I think everyone's really excited to the last dance in France. Well, they're poised to enter what is a truly fabulous sporting arena. It's France against England. Barre with the inside pass. Magnificent, magnificent France. Oh, and through goes Lawrence, and England have their try. Simple as that. The men in white, right back into the match on the stroke of half time. George Ford completes the formality. Half time in Lyon. It is France who lead England by 16 points to 10. Being met by his opposite number, Greg Aldrin. Slay. Oh, the flat, creating some space for Freeman. Sneak view there of Ellis Genge underwear. There goes Underhill. This is so good from England. Earl is away. Can he get there? Mitchell considers the options. Go short. Lawrence barreling his way over. And he's done it. Oh, and through goes Earl. And now, surely they must finish it. Smith with a step. And they are in. England are rampant, they are taking control. Olivon gets it away. Hello to Piku. And in the blink of an eye, France are back in front. What a way it would be to sign off if he can score a try. A brilliant yes. hat. And here go England. And Freeman has his first test match try. But this is it for the game. Well, there have been some high pressure kicks in the dying moments in test matches over eight, the last year eight, or so. Eight, Demonstrated, he has ice in his veins. And now Tomai Ramos has done precisely the same. And France have finished this edition of Rugby's Greatest Championship with a flourish.
they have beaten England by 33 points to 31. I'm gutted obviously about today, um, but so proud of everyone's efforts over the last seven weeks. That's like genuinely, it's been unbelievable. Like what a ride! No one really gave us a chance. The Six Nations boys and I like, proved a lot of people wrong. And, um, I'm so excited about where this team can go. Mostly, like I've said it a few times, but because of the people in this room and not just the players, the staff. Like uh, I want to thank everyone for all your hard work because it's been uh, it's been really really special. And, um, yeah, it's an exciting time to move forward, boys, so thank you very much. Uh, just a huge thank you to all the travelling fans that came out to support us tonight. Um, genuinely gutted that we couldn't get it over the line, but um, the support throughout the entire campaign, you know, we, we spoke a lot about reconnecting with the fans, bringing the fans on a journey with us, and uh, I really hope that we've made a lot of people smile over the last seven weeks. I know it's been a bit stressful at times, but that's the sort of way that we want to play the game. So um, I'm really proud of the boys, I'm really proud of the team, and uh, I'm really excited about where this team can go.